welcome, welcome back, back Camille. We don't have our little buddy here with us to say welcome back, Camille. She is napping right now. She's a sleepy girl. As you know, our lives have just been really, really, really crazy this summer. We started off by leaving our home and going to Florida for three weeks. We went and got married there and had ourselves a little honeymoon. And then we came back home for only five days, barely even got to unpack our car, and then we left to California. And then after five days there, we finally came back. And since then, there's just so much that we've been meaning to do that we've been procrastinating that we were supposed to get done before we even left for Florida but it just kind of got away from us so it is time I'm putting my foot down and we are getting stuff done today today is the day Colette is napping so perfect opportunity our house is a disaster our room specifically is just like bad in one word that's what happened to her room. That is what happened to her room. <laughs> it exploded. Most of it is laundry, and I came to the realization that I have way too many clothes, and I just keep buying more, and it's a problem. So I am going to go through my clothes, see what I don't wear anymore, because a lot of my clothes I just don't even wear. Like, I've worn this shirt a ridiculous amount of times. You guys see this shirt all the time. I just wear the same things over and over again, and there are certain items in my closet that have just been sitting there for years, and I literally can't even remember the last time I even looked at them. And that's not good, you know? It's just wasting space, and it could be going to you somewhere. So I'm going to go through all my clothes decide what I want to donate but before I get to like stripping apart my closet we need to clean the room so I even have space on the floor to do that that's happening Landon just cleaned out the fridge while I was getting ready this morning it was really dirty from traveling yikes yeah we um forgot to kind of like clean it out before we left it wasn't that bad like there wasn't any meat or anything left in the fridge it just it was so like just a bunch of expired stuff since we've been gone so long and the fridges need to be wiped down so i completely yep. stripped it and cleaned it time to go on a shopping spree i know we need some groceries we've been eating doordash for like too long when we were on vacation it was really all we had period and since getting back we've just been lazy honestly i want to be like oh we've been busy but like we seriously have just been so lazy and we just need to pull ourselves out of this rut. So step one to getting our lives back on track after all this traveling is cleaning our house. Going through, organizing it, and getting our space clean so we can actually use our brains properly. Brains. I feel like I can't even think straight when my house is messy. I just can't. So yeah, that is what is on the list today. And then later we're going to the grocery store once Colette wakes up. And then... What else are we We're doing? We're getting a grill. A grill? Yes. At HUB, they got some smacker deals on a grill. Smacker deals. So <laughs> you sound um, like a grill salesman. <laughs> we got some smacker deals on our grills. No, but they have pretty cheap grills and they're pretty nice. So we're gonna go in from there. It's honestly not summer if you don't grill out. I mean, am I right? So we'll probably grill something for dinner. That sounds Ooh, fun. We should get a kitty pool. A kitty pool? Yeah, let's do that. After a long day of cleaning and getting stuff done, we'll have a relaxing grill out pool party. That'll be fun. But now time for the boring part. Let's get to it. Are we going to a montage right now? Yes, we okay. are. Cue montage. <laughs> on the floor so I have room to go through all my clothes. That plant died while traveling. A lot of our plants died while we were traveling. Of course they didn't get watered so RIP. But the room is mostly clean and yeah I'm ready to go through my clothes but I know that after I go through my clothes I'm going to be exhausted because I have a lot of clothes and I'm not going to want to do anything else after that so I'm actually going to do that last. In the meantime 
I need to do my bathroom. It's a mess. Lannon's little closet area that he like does his gaming and stuff in is an absolute disaster. Like it's bad. I don't think it's been cleaned since he kind of like moved into there. <laughs> moved his computer into there and everything. There's just a ton of random crap down there. And this is all just like random clothes. And I kid you not, there's Chick-fil-A down there. I'm not sure if it has anything in it, but that is disgusting either way. So while I do the bathroom, I'm gonna make him clean his little closet. This is like actually disgusting. Look how many pudding cups he has in here. Ew. And I thought my bathroom was bad. Landon, your closet is disgusting. Can you clean that while I do the bathroom? That's really gross. You have so many like pudding cups in there and like there's Chick-fil-A on the floor. <laughs> clean that up. The bathroom is done and Landon cleaned out his little cave. As you can see, all of my hangups fell. They used to be hung up on a little bar right here and some of them were up there and they all just ended up on the floor. They still have hangers on them so I'm going to do that last because I know that those are all clean and I just really need to go through them and see like what I actually wear. I wear most of these so I don't think I'll be getting rid of too much but I still need to go through these and hang those back up. And then there's just some random stuff down here, like camera gear and stuff that I need to organize. <sighs> it feels good to finally be doing this. I just sat down and realized, like the other day, it would just be so much easier to go through everything, organize it, and it wouldn't get as messy as fast if it was put together the right way. When we first furnished this house and got it all put together, I was thinking from an aesthetic standpoint and not from a practicality standpoint, and being able to to like live in a house and have space to put stuff and have it organized is much more important than it looking nice and looking put together so there's definitely some changes that need to be made as far as organization goes so yeah that's kind of why things got this bad it's just the way we set it up when we first moved here we weren't great about it it feels like we just moved here but we've been here for like four months now Mm -hmm. But yeah, I just need to go through all my clothes. I'm just sitting here vlogging, procrastinating it, because I know when I turn off the camera, I have to go back to the montage and folding. And... No, don't cue the montage. Don't do it. So I'm sitting here doing laundry and the bed broke. Like the bed itself is broken. There was a leg holding this up. You can see it right there. Yikes. Lena was literally just like sitting on it and it broke. What happened? I don't even know, but we're getting a refund. Oh look, there's a passy on the floor. We took the cover off and honestly we don't even know like what to do at this point. Like we can't even get this thing out of the door. Obviously it can't stay in here tonight. It's broken, like we're not gonna sleep on it. We're just gonna sleep on our mattress on the floor like the good old days when we first moved into here. But like we have to like deconstruct it. <laughs> to get it out of here. That kind of puts our cleaning to a halt. Instead of spending the rest of Colette's nap time doing the laundry, we will now be deconstructing this bed. I honestly like am kind of a little bit low-key glad that this happened because it is a little bit of an out to doing all the laundry. I wanted to get it done and I wanted it to be done. I just didn't really want to do it, but now I can't do it, so yeah. All right, well, let's get this thing out of here, and then we need to head to the store. I have an idea. We're just going to break the pegs off and then put it back together and just have this on the floor instead of the whole bed itself. So let's do it. Ready? Okay. Careful. Let's, like, bring this to the wall. Okay, ready? I 
It's like we're in that one show where they're like busting down the walls and breaking. What like is HGTV. That? No, what's that one like house flippers? Fixer upper. Yeah. We're fix it. We're Chip and Joanna. <laughs> Oh no. Did you just ding the wall? No, nothing else. <laughs> nothing happened. All right, well this is our new bed. It's a solution for now. I definitely want to get a different bed. I liked being so high up. I don't want to just like be on the floor. I love being on the floor because then when Colette comes in here, True. she can't come snuggle. Yeah, she can climb up on the bed. We'll see. We'll live in it for a while. Have our bed on the floor, and if we hate it, then we'll get a new I mean, one. Technically, we're not on the floor. This is a little bit better than being on the floor. But. Yeah, we're just like minus like six inches. All right, Ugh, our room's a freaking mess now. Like, I just got it clean, and now it's a mess again. There's screws all over the floor, and all these wood planks and everything. All right, let's get this put up, and then let's go to the grocery store. Here's our new bed. The only plus side about this is now that it's lower to the ground, it's easier to just kind of fall on. <gasps> and now that the bed's already broken, we can jump on it. True. <laughs> All right, Colette is probably up by now. We're going to get ready and head to the store. We need sheets for our bed. So, also, I broke a nail while I'm um, trying to put that bed together. So that's two down now. And I need to get my nails fixed. We'll see if that ends up happening today, though. First things first, we need to get our Coletti girl ready. Hi, good morning. You ah. haven't even seen them today yet. Say hi. I haven't seen you guys. I've been sleeping. Colette, you're not going to guess what happened to our bed. <laughs> yeah. Come here. Ah. Hey. Look at that. Hey. Oh. <laughs> get that footsie. You did. Welcome. Good girl, welcome to our new bed. What do you think? <laughs> jumpy, 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 jumpy. Jumpy, <laughs> 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 One little coco jumping on the bed. Don't fall off and bonk your head. We don't want Coco to bonk her head. <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> She's trying to jump out of my arms. You jump then. Let's go. Jump, 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 jump. We need to get this girl a trampoline. I know you want to play on the new bed, but it's time to go to the store. She's like, why do we stop? It's time to jump. <laughs> Look at that big girl walking all by herself. She's like, I want to go in there, I'm lazy. But we've made it to Target. First things first is the home furnishing section because we need bedding. That's the main thing we're here for is some new sheets. So we'll see what they have to offer. I think we came here before when we got like our actual bedding sheet. Not our bedding sheet. I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> but yeah, we need to get bedding. We're Yeah, we're vlogging. Oh! What's our Cam and fam. Huh? Cam and fam. Cam and fam? Yeah. I hate vlogging in public. Uh, he just asked what our channel's called. Running away as fast as I can. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. <laughs> okay, but we found the bed. What size is our bed again? Queen. <laughs> that was a dramatic build up. <gasps> oh! That would not match our theme. Our theme is yellow. How was that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it would. I'm sorry. Let's do this one. This one's so cool. Is it queen? Mm. Oh, this one's a queen. You know what else we really need? She needs a new car seat. Pretty bad. Like, she has grown out of her car seat. You can get a big girl car seat? Yeah, yeah you can be a big girl. All right, well, these are like the bigger kid ones, so let's go to the baby section. Not the toy section. We need to go to the car seats. <laughs> She took us here. <gasps> hey, the animals say hooray. They love when you come to play. <laughs> Let's like play it. and learn. All right, well, well, we might come back here if you're a good girl. But first, we have to finish our shopping. Oh, she's throwing a fit. Oh, you want the toy. You want to pick something up from Rosaria? That kind of defeats the purpose of taking her away from the toys if you put her right back down with some more toys. What is that? 
It's a unicorn egg. <laughs> <laughs> you can't break the unicorn. <laughs> she got creeped out by the dolls. She's like, ew. <laughs> She's actually never really liked dolls. I mean, I can agree. They're kind of creepy. She really wants that egg. <laughs> Alright, get out of the toy section. <laughs> no more throwing eggs. You think you're so funny. Stop. <laughs> Come on. You're crazy. We gave the girl a breadstick and she's finally calming down. That's all you wanted. With a little bit of breadsticks. And we're in the car seat section. I think we've found our car seat. This bad boy. This, what is it? Four and one Graco car seat from four pounds to 120 pounds. That's how much I weigh. I could sit in this car seat. That's gonna be you soon, Colette. Little toddler girl in her car seat. <laughs> What's that sassy face for? She's like, that does not look like me. Mm -mm. What's that? Pasta. Oh my God, you're ridiculous. It's good. I didn't think it'd be very good, but it's good. Did you just put your pasta down? He's obnoxious. Just having some shelf pasta. Why'd you put that there? All right, we're ready. We're off to the grocery store. All right, Colette, get whatever you want. Okay, some of that. Yeah, we can do that. What else? Okay, <laughs> two of those. <laughs> two of those. All right, we'll take two of those. Yeah, no, not that one. That one. No, okay, not that. okay. We're cutting you off. No. Yeah, no. Got a cart full of food and Colette is with her little sister right there. Is that your little friend? Is that your buddy? It feels good to have groceries to eat. Colette's dropping them on the floor. I'm excited to have a home cooked meal. It's actually been a really long time since we've cooked at home. We just got into the habit of ordering or eating out, but I'm excited. We got some nice meals to be cooking. We can't get a grill today because our car is already full, so we didn't know we were gonna get that car seat. And it's taking up our whole car, so we're not gonna be grilling out, but we did get a little inflatable pool for Colette. We made it back home and we got the pool going. Are you ready, Colette? It's gonna be so much fun. She doesn't even know what's about to happen. Come here. It's a pool. She's like, why are we taking a bath outside? We go out of our way, buy this pool for her, blow it up, fill it with water. And she hates it. She hates it. Doesn't like it. That is just what it's like to have toddlers. Sometimes they love something and sometimes they hate it and you never know what to expect. Well, that was a waste of time and money. We're gonna go give her a bath. She's all fresh and all clean. She didn't like her pool, but maybe she will like this. We got her some pots and pans for her little kitchen. Now she can really cook. When I got this, I didn't think about the fact that she'd be clanking these together all day long. What should we cook, Colette? We're gonna get the pot. I gotta turn that on. Put some asparagus in there. Stir it up. Girl, are you cooking? Steamy. <laughs> so, about six months ago, before we moved, we posted a video cutting Colette's Passy, and we didn't really go through with it, as you know. We cut it, and then we realized we're literally moving in like a month or something. So we kept it with her so she could survive the 12 hour road trip. And then after that, we're like, oh, well, once we're settled into the new house, then we'll get rid of it. But we still aren't even really settled. Like I wouldn't say we're 100% settled into the house, but she's definitely aware of her surroundings and knows that this is her room. And I just wanted her to learn that this is her house, not just some weird, strange place and get used to it before we took away her passy. So by the time I felt like she was ready to get her passy taken away, we left to Florida for another 12 hour road trip. And when we're traveling, it's really, really hard when she doesn't have her passy. The car ride itself is really rough without a passy, but even like being in an unfamiliar place, it's just really hard for her. And I don't wanna like 
put her in a place that she's not familiar with and then rip away her comfort item. Uh. So we did not take away her passy when we were in Florida. And then three weeks later, we get back from Florida and we're like, we're going to California on a plane ride. And I can't even imagine taking her on the plane without her passy. And again, we were in an unfamiliar place with a lot of unfamiliar people that I've even never met before. She's obviously never met before. And then we got back and she got sick. And we were sick for a few days, so definitely wasn't gonna take away her passy while she was sick. But at this point, there is just no longer an excuse. We're not traveling anywhere anytime soon. And there's really no reason why we shouldn't take it away right now. We know that it's not great for her teeth. And she's just getting a little old for it. I wish we took it away earlier. I feel like the longer we wait, the harder it's going to be. And we waited quite a while. With my next kid, I'll probably take it away sooner. Probably around like six months or so. Because it's just so much easier. They don't even really know how much they like their passy. And that it's like a whole thing. <laughs> but now she's like obsessed with it. And she goes and looks for it, and she loves her passy. So it's a bittersweet moment. Landon really, really, really does not want us to take over her passy. I am team no more passy, and he is team keep the passy. Because, I don't know, it's our baby, and it's hard, and we don't like seeing her cry, obviously. But it's just something we have to do at this point. And like I said, the longer we wait, the harder it's going to be. I mean, we could just let her have it until she just doesn't care for it anymore like obviously she's not gonna be carrying it around with her when she's like 12 years old eventually she's gonna stop herself but we don't want our like six-year-old to be walking around with the passy so okay let's take it let's take it you ready snatch where is it i'm gonna say bye bye you say one last kiss say goodbye mm, this is so sad like i'm gonna cry i'm gonna cry when i hear her crying <laughs> i think she'll be okay without it she just has to get used to not having it. She usually has it to go to bed. We don't give it to her a whole lot. But if she's ever hurt, she'll go and look for it. And it's just a comfort item. But she has this mini mouse doll that she loves. So we're gonna put her to bed with that and read her a book and get her tucked in and make her as comfortable as possible. Cause it's her first night without her passy. Say goodbye to your passy. Bye-bye. Away it goes. Mama's love is like the air everywhere you go. It wraps around and hugs you close because Mama loves you so. The end. Mama loves you. You know that? Even though I take away your passy, I still love you and I'm sorry. We still love you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It is bedtime. You want Mickey? I'm going to go to night-night with Mickey. Okay. Got our Mickey. There we go. Oh. She's looking for a passy. Where's my passy? <laughs> I know, you don't want it. It's okay. She never cries like that when we leave her room. She'll be okay. That was sad. Yeah, I don't like to see her cry. She'll forget all about it eventually. Is she so sad when she cries? I know. This is really hard. That's why we procrastinated it for this long, because it's just a really emotional thing for both us and her. It took a really long time for us to actually do this, and hopefully this is the last time we make a video like this, <laughs> saying that we're taking it away. It should be. I mean, I don't think we're going to give it back to her. I don't know. We didn't cut them. Last time we cut all of them and went out and bought more. But we were just putting them up at the top of the closet. It's going to take some willpower to not give in, but it's what's best for her. I am excited to snuggle up in our new sheets. It feels like we have a new bed because it's smaller and shorter, but we don't. It's just a broken bed. But I like the look of these. They look really good with all the yellow. That pretty much wraps up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.